God's peace be with you. Welcome to our devotional for Friday, December 31st. Today's devotional is based on the book of Isaiah, chapter 61, verse 10, to chapter 62, verse 3. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My whole being shall exalt in my God, for he has clothed me with the garments of salvation he has covered me with the robe of righteousness, as a bridegroom decks himself with a, with a garland, and a bride adorns herself with jewels. For as the earth brings forth its shoots, and as a garden causes what is sown in it to spring up, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring up before all nations. For Zion's sake I will not keep silent, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest until her vindication shines out like the dawn, and her salvation like a burning torch. The nations shall see your vindication, and all the kings your glory, and you shall be called by a new name that the mouth of the Lord will give. You, will, you shall be a crown of beauty in the hand of the Lord, and a royal didium in the hand of your God. So, today's devotional. From Daily Feast was written by G. Malcolm Sinclair. Not everyone is happy at a wedding. Indeed, it is deemed one of the most stressful times in a life. People must be kept happy and involved. Traditions must be satisfied or explained away. Old rivalries and unfinished business give way to the ceremony. And out of it all, the history of the world is changed as lives embrace. For the first time, some deep and timeless thing. And we're left with this question to ponder through the weekend. What is your one particular hope for the future? An appropriate question as we enter a new year. Let us pray. I trust my future to your care, O God, and I do so with great hope. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me for today's devotional, and thank you for joining me throughout the past year. I pray that you have a safe and joyous new year ahead of you and many blessings on your life. Until next time, I pray that you remain safe and healthy. That during this way of the pandemic, you're washing your hands frequently, practicing social distancing, and when you are in public, that you're wearing a mask. God bless.